Good afternoon and welcome back to another Iraq News video. Black Shark calls not to hinder regional development demands for reform in Iraq. Let's look at that for a second. The reforms, I've been in this investment 10 years. I have noticed Iraq has been talking about the reforms for the entire time I've been in this video. And the reason why they've talked about it for at least 10 years, if not even longer, guys, is because the reforms, just like Article 140 and the HCL, which have both been on the books ready to be implemented since 2005, the reforms, they're all waiting on the on the rate change, guys. That's why they're still talking about it. So anyway, let's get into the article. The United Nations representative in Iraq, Janine Blackshark, called on Thursday that regional development should not hinder local priorities and demands for reform in Iraq. Regional security developments must not be met local priorities and demands for reform, said Black Shark in a tweet on her Twitter account. The voice of the people expressed peacefully must be heard killings and kidnappings. The use of live ammunition and threats against the demonstrators must be stopped. The perpetrators must bear the responsibility, she added. So there you go, guys. The They put a larger focus and emphasis on the reforms because of the demonstrations. So there you go. They cannot implement the reforms until the rate changes and hold on you got to see the next article because this article tells you more this is a little bit of an older article that has while we were talking while we're currently talking about reforms this is a very important one this article is from december 12th this article talks about the temporary budget okay parliamentary finance iraq will enter a temporary budget in 2020 Okay, you guys already know about the temporary budget. We don't care about all that. All we care about is the last sentence. And he stated that without voting on the budget, these reforms remain ink on paper. They're telling you in that statement, guys, that the reforms are inside the 2020 budget. So they're clearly telling you that the reforms are in the first article that we just read. The reforms are demonstrator demands. The second article tells you that 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 the reforms are inside the 2020 budget. But as I've said from the beginning, they've been outstanding for a very long time. And that's because they're clearly waiting on the rate change to implement them. So again, they will have to approve the budget, change the rate, then they can implement the reforms and or the demonstrator's demands. Next article, construction holds a meeting to discuss and prepare the country's planning and financial budget for 2020. The Ministry of Commerce announced that the General Company for Construction Materials and Trade and the ministry held an expanded meeting that included the directors of all departments of the company to discuss and prepare the planning and financial budget for the year 2020. This came quoting that the general manager of the company in the name Saddam Sultan He added that during the meeting, extensive discussions took place aimed at finding a financial and planning budget that serves the company's joints in all aspects in order to provide salaries to employees in addition to calculating the financial increase for the expatriate employees during the past years and other banks according to a study with economic feasibility and occasion commensurate with the financial reality of the company's work adding the that the issue of investment was also discussed for some lands owned by the companies in order to maximize its financial resources according to the law of selling and renting state funds in the same context that the meeting discussed a discussion of some of the tasks and on the of transportation and maintenance department one of the formations of the construction department, including repairing perched cars and finding appropriate solutions to enhance its production work in a way continued to join with other similar trucks to transport foodstuffs, according to the central plan prepared by the Ministry of Trade. The general manager of the company called on all departments to continue cooperation and communication between departments to raise the reality 
of the company forward to maximize its financial resources through investment in all available means in accordance with the established controls and instructions. Shikali sends a message to Sauter. Shikali sent a message to the leader of the Sauter movement, Muqtada Sauter, in which he invited him to cooperate in forming the government. Shikali said in his message to Sauter, he posted of his account in Twitter in response to what the leader of the movement mentioned in a previous tweet. The protesters do not oppose, but rather they reject the candidates of corrupt parties because they are against the hateful regime of quotas. He added they want a national government and the results of the referendums have been heard by the whole world. He continued, you have 54 deputies and the demonstrators have 154. Let's gather them to vote on the interim government later. The leader of the Sauter's movement, Muqtada Sauter, demanded earlier to accelerate the formation of a strong and viable government that would restore Iraq prestige and independence in no more than 15 days and without political parliamentary secretary and ethnic polemics. So this is just a repeat article from yesterday, Sauter's kind of giving a demand to have the uh, the government formed in a period of 15 days. But as you guys call, recall through 2019, a rat or Sauter flapped his lips through most of the year and none of his none of his demands were met. Okay, it was just all hot air. So we'll see what happens on that. Iraq Sauter says crisis is over, tells militias to stand down statement. File photo, Iraq Shiite cleric Muqtada Sauter speaks during a news conference with the Iraqi politician Omar al-Hakim, leader of the Hakim Current in Najaf. Iraq, May 17, 2018, Reuters picture. Influential Shia cleric Muqtada Sadr said on Wednesday, January 8th, the crisis in Iraq was experienced is over following the de-escalation of rhetoric from Iran and the U.S. and called on militia groups not to carry out attacks. A new... A new, strong Iraq government able to protect the nation's sovereignty and independence should be formed in the next 15 days and usher an early election. The populist cleric said in a statement, adding that Iraqis should still seek to expel foreign troops. However, I can call on the Iraqi factions to be deliberate, patient, and not start military actions to shut down the extremist voices of some rogue elements until all political parliamentary and international methods have been exhausted, he said.